Hey everybody, this is Nathan Lehman at the Ultra Running Company in Charlotte, North Carolina, and today we're going to be doing a pretty quick shoe review. I know for those of you that watch our channel, you know brevity is not our strength, and uh, the reason this is going to be a quick review is because today we are looking at the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2, and we'll touch a little bit on the Endorphin Speed 2 as well. But uh, this is a quick review because we've already done a full review on the, on the Pro and the Speed, and there are very, very few updates. Uh, sometimes you, you see major overhauls on a shoe. Sometimes you just have a shoe that works so well that when they come out with a second version of it, they, they really just tweak some of the things. And the great news, if you want to stop watching this review now, is that these shoes are as good or better than they were last year. So there you go. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. Let's let's go on to this. So bottom line, this is uh, the Saucony Endorphin Pro 2. This is their uh, raciest shoe in the lineup. It is what we would call a comfort cushioned high drop road running shoe. What does that mean? It means there's a significant amount more cushion in the heel than the forefoot. Now we went over all the specs. If you go back to our Saucony Speed review, uh, we went over all the specs of the shoes in that, so I'm not going to beat this up. What, you, what you'll want to know here is that there's eight millimeters more cushion in the heel than there is in the forefoot, which is about as high as we go at the Ultra Running Company. The challenge of having more cushion in the heel is that when you come through on a normal strike, it, you're more likely to catch that heel a little bit in front of your center of gravity. We try and discourage that for folks. We'd really like, no matter what your running style is, we'd like that initial landing to be right under your center of gravity. It could be on your heel, it could be on your midfoot, could be on your forefoot. But when you have a very large heel on it, something in the range of 10 to 12 millimeters, there's a pretty solid chance that you're going to catch it as you come through your gait cycle. You're going to land with a um, longer, more extended uh, leg beat up your knees a little bit. So anyways, eight millimeters is about as high as we go at the Ultra Running Company. But what Saucony's done is really address that by putting in what they call speed roll. Um, it's what Hoka would call a rocker. Uh, and it's what most folks are doing on these high cushion road running and trail running shoes right now. The big deal about that is even though there's a ton of cushion here on the heel, um, in the case of, of the Endorphin Pro 2, 31.7 millimeters of cushion as well as another four millimeters of insole. So almost 36 millimeters of cushion back here. You'll probably avoid most of that and land on the front where it rolls forward and it brings your toes down so you can really push off. Now the big deal about the Pro Shoe is that it does have a carbon fiber plate running from toe almost all the way to heel. That carbon fiber plate makes this a very stiff shoe. Um, but that stiff shoe really allows you to kind of pop forward. Now that feels wonderful. It gives you the idea that you are uh, moving very quickly. What we found though, most of the studies out there of this shoe of the Nike 4% next percent, the big deal is the rubber in it. And the rubber in this particular shoe uh, is called Power Run PB. And it's a PIBA mix that, that gives it a very high bounce rate. When you combine that bounce rate with these rolls, what you get is a very, very fast shoe to the point that on a, on a run in this shoe, we are almost always going faster than any other shoe on, on the floor of our uh, store. Big differences on this, exactly the same. Uh, just reviewing there on the, on the cushion portion. The big differences on this shoe are really two to three cushion differences. First, um, with the Pro, if you watch our last review, you'll see that we enjoyed running in the Speed more. We just felt like this upper fit better. It, it was more of a daily shoe, possibly because this has that carbon fiber plate and the Speed has uh, a nylon plate in, inside of it. Uh, more traditional, well still a plate, but not one that has quite the pop. It gives you a little bit more flexibility. But the big deal for us was really that this upper didn't fit quite as well. It didn't, didn't have that just right feeling that the Speed, the, the speed version did. In the Pro 2, they've addressed that by putting in these little eyelets here. The weight is exactly the same, so they must have taken it out somewhere else, but um, in, in the, or we just don't measure something this small. But what that does is it pulls it in around your instep and really gives you a nice fitted feel. They also address probably the only thing that, that 
was a real complaint in the old shoe, which was the heel section. They've, they've adjusted it just slightly, um, changed the way that they build it, and it really does hug your foot a bit more. So at 9.3 ounces in a size 13, this is an exceptionally light shoe. It's an exceptionally fast feeling shoe. And we feel like this, this Pro is uh, a, a noticeable improvement over a very good, very fast shoe in the past. So we hope that helps. We hope that you'll go back and watch our other reviews, see what we liked so much about the initial speed and why we were a little bit less effusive about the Speed Pro and see that they've kind of fixed some of those issues. All in all, the Endorphin Pro 2 is a good shoe made great, but with a carbon fiber plate and a $200 price tag, we still don't think you're gonna be running in this shoe every day. We think that's gonna be reserved for this shoe, which is the Endorphin Speed 2. $40 less at 160 bucks. And really aside from adding a hit of leather here and a hit of leather on the tongue, this is an identical shoe to the one we reviewed and liked so much last season. So we think we'll, uh, we think we'll be doing most of our running in this. Go back and watch that review if you get a chance. But if you're going to purchase one of these, may we suggest this version. Even if it weren't a faster shoe, this is in both the Speed and the Pro, and the color alone will take you faster over the finish line. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, check out our last review and learn to love to run.